Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be making a heterostructure out of two monolayers. The monolayers are the gold 111 face monolayer and a graphene monolayer. And we're going to be using a new and improved method where we use the fractional coordinates of the supercells to make the heterostructure. And um, one of my subscribers and frequent viewers suggested this method and it is just brilliant. So thank you very much. So without further ado, let's get started. If you have not subscribed to my channel, please hit that subscribe button. So um, let's go ahead and open up the gold one on one face. So this is a unit cell for gold, and it the this is the one 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 face up here. So if you don't know how to make this unit cell, starting with the standard cubic gold unit cell, please see my other video where I do this. It's like I think my first slab cutting video. So uh, I'm gonna move fast in this video. This will be considered an advanced video. So um, let's go ahead and just make this a one three one supercell by going to edit a unit cell transform. This is going to be 131. Select OK. Yes. Apply. And then what we're going to do is we're going to actually save this in the fractional coordinates. So I'll call this gold 111 face 131.vasp. Uh, oh, I actually have to save as VASP type. Save it. Fractional coordinates. Select OK. Now we're going to open up our graphene structure here, which I have. And I have another video where I show you how to get this graphene from graphite. And we're going to do a 2x2x1 two by two by expansion. So go to Transform, and we're going to 2, 2, 1. Select OK. Select Apply. So very nice. And now go to File, Export Data. And we're going to call this Graphene 2x2x1.vasp. Two two Select Save. So uh, making this 1, 1, 1 crystal out of gold uh, is kind of non-trivial and I do have a video where I show you how to get to the transformation matrix by doing sort of an expansion and cutting the 111 plane. Uh, so please go check that video out and also please go check out the video where I cut graphene from graphite. Uh, it should be just a few videos back, um, maybe a couple months ago, a video I made. Um, anyways, so now what we're going to do is we're going to have to come over here and we're going to, we have these two supercell files we made, okay? Uh, actually, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to reopen one of the supercells quick, and I have to save it as a VASP, which I'll call uh, the heterostructure, so we can edit this later. So I'll just go to Export Data, Export it as a VASP, and call this hetero.vasp. Okay, select Save. And we're going to save this hetero VASP as Cartesian coordinates. This is very important. Okay, so now come into Graphene, and this is all in... Uh, ooh, Looks like I accidentally saved this as Cartesian. So I'm going to go ahead and delete this graphene here. Okay. And I'm going to have to reopen it, the original graphene. Sorry about that, everyone. And we'll just go to edit, edit data unit cell, and we're going to re-expand it and save it as fractional coordinates. Because you want to, you want to save the supercells in fractional coordinates. That's the key to this new method. So we'll call this graphene 2x2x1.vasp. Save it. Fractional coordinates. <laughs> I have the habit of clicking Cartesian. Select OK. OK. Now what we're going to do is come here into uh, Graphene 2x2x1. 2x2, OK. And we're going to take this, these coordinates. we are come over to our trusty calculator. We're going to put them in. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go into the gold. And we're going to add it to these coordinates. And then divide by 2. Okay, now these are going to be the new coordinates of both cells. Okay, very good. Now do the same thing for the B coordinates. So I'm now in the gold and I get these B coordinates. Then I divide by 2. And now these are the new coordinates for the B dimension for both crystals. And because the, the coordinates down below are in fractional coordinates or direct coordinates, they're, they're in the coordinates are with respect to the vectors. So what happens is this basically disperses the atomic displacement from the mismatched lattice vectors over the whole crystal and makes it much more well behaved when you have to relax the heterostructures later. So now I'm gonna open up one of the supercells. I'll open up the 131 phase. And then I go to edit, edit data phase and I'm going to import the graphene. And now the unit cell vectors are actually going to be the same. Uh, there's still the same degree of mismatch in the atomic positions because this is a sort of finite model, 
but it's dispersed over the whole crystal versus being on the area where the lattice mismatch is. So had we not done this method, basically there would have been a lattice mismatch along here, and that would have been sort of a concentrated region of mismatch. Whereas because we use the fractional coordinates and set the unit cells equal to each other, the sort of atomic position mismatch is dispersed all over the crystal. And this is sort of much more uh, well behaved when you do geometry optimization routines in your electronic structure programs. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do, is I'm gonna move up the, the graphing 9.4. I found this to be a good uh, distance because when I go to space filling, you can see they're right on top of each other. Now select okay. Now what we're gonna do is we're just going to make the monolayers now. So actually what I'm gonna do first is go to bonds, go to the carbon phase for the graphing and delete the bonds. Select apply. Okay, now I'm gonna cut the graphene monolayer, the gold monolayer. I'll press C. Now I have to destroy periodicity in B and A. Okay, very good. Now I'm gonna export this as an XYZ. And I'm gonna call this one hetero as well. So just hetero XYZ, save it. Now what I do is I come into hetero XYZ. You can see I have 22 atoms and I copy. And the first six will be gold and the following 16 will be uh, carbon, so I'll call this hetero. And then what I'm gonna do is come into the 131 face of gold. Actually, no, I'm gonna go into the graphene because it doesn't have that weird angle at the bottom there, which is just an artifact. I'll copy these here. I'll call this 20, okay, this is the vacuum. And then the first six are gold, remember, and the next are 16 carbon. So I actually have to go back and get my hetero XYZ, looks like I might have missed that one. Or maybe not. Anyways, yes. So it looks like I had done that, but just forgot. Okay. So uh, so I have to redo this for some reason. So six gold and then 16 carbon. Okay. And then oh, maybe I, I'm going to copy these coordinates in from the hetero VASP or from, from the gold. Okay, so now this is the combined unit cell. I'll make this 20. I, I don't know what might have happened. I might have just like done it on a different file and got confused. Anyways, this is the final thing. So now we come here and we open hetero VASP. Ah, there we go. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful structure. And that's it. That's the monolayer of gold and the monolayer of graphene. And uh, let's expand it for the thumbnail. Most videos, they show you this cool structure and then on the thumbnail and then you, they don't show you how to make it, but here it is, there's a thumbnail. And yeah, so uh, thanks for watching everyone. If you have any questions, uh, please leave them down below. Please subscribe to my channel and I'll see you next time.